It is a news at this point that Bethesda Game Studios' first foray into an online experience, Fallout 76, fell flat on its face on a mound of sharply protruding rocks. Hard to say for sure if Bethesda will ever be able to live this down, especially with controversy surrounding the game and the company continuing to mount. But many are hoping that Bethesda will be able to recover by delivering stellar single-player experiences through upcoming titles such as Starfield and Elder Scrolls VI, the former being a brand new IP and the latter being the next entry in a highly renowned franchise. Now, it's safe to assume that Elder Scrolls VI is likely many years out, with Starfield being Bethesda's current focus, so there is very little we know about the game save for what little we can glean from the teaser trailer shown during E3 2018. However, one bit of new information was recently shared by none other than Jeremy Soule, who many of you will recognize as the legendary composer for the Elder Scrolls series. His tenure with the franchise began with Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, and he's composed all the music for Elder Scrolls games since then. I think few can deny the key role that Jeremy played in his establishing the identity and atmosphere of those titles, with his music almost acting as a character of its own. I simply cannot imagine playing Elder Scrolls without his iconic melodies and tunes, and I think many fans can say the same. Which is why it may come as an unfortunate bit of surprise that, based on what we currently know, Jeremy Soule may not be returning as composer for Elder Scrolls 6 if his recent Facebook posts are anything to go by. On January 7th, 2018, Jeremy posted the following. As so many of my fans have asked, while I've not said much about this out of courtesy to Bethesda, I would never turn my back on the Elder Scrolls, and I believe that my involvement would hinge on a creative decision on their part and where they want to take the franchise. To confirm, I am currently not involved with The Elder Scrolls 6. Now, it is important to keep in mind that with the game being so early in development, it's always possible he'll be brought back once Bethesda finishes Starfield and are able to shift their focus to the new Elder Scrolls game. However, from Jeremy's tone, it sounds to me like not being told he'll be the composer for a new Elder Scrolls game at this stage is something of an abnormality. In a follow-up comment, he had this to say, I normally mark comments I've read with a like, but I don't want to appear to be taking sides in this. As Bethesda have said, The Elder Scrolls 6 is still a long ways out. My non-involvement at this stage isn't necessarily an indicator of anything foreboding, but whatever happens, it's been a privilege for me to have made music for you with this series for all these years. It's been a joy to create these musical emotions and custom fit them into the world of The Elder Scrolls. I'm proud of the work that I've done and of all the artists who have made their own beautiful variations of my work, such as Maluka. And most of all, I'm honored to have seen how this music has served in ways I could never have imagined. The heartfelt stories of this music accompanying people in hospitals, weddings, and even funerals, as well as the stories of how people reach to this music in times of depression or anxiety. All of this is humbling for me. Thank you and win guide you. While he does point out that his non-involvement at this stage doesn't necessarily confirm he won't return as a composer, I also get the sense that he feels as though Bethesda not asking him back could very well be within the realm of possibility. This comment almost reads like he's saying goodbye to the series, thanking his fans for a good run in case things don't go as he hopes. In a third comment, Jeremy seems to suggest that somebody else could be hired to take over his usual role, stating the following, I appreciate the support, thanks everyone, but whoever they have hired or may hire will deliver something special for The Elder Scrolls 6. I am certain they can still deliver a great game with or without my involvement. I think a major reason for why Jeremy may be suggesting this scenario is due to the fact that Bethesda has already released soundtrack for Elder Scrolls 6. You may recall that the teaser trailer for the game from E3 2018 not only showed some landscape and a logo, but also featured a little bit of music in the background as well.
Judging by Jeremy's recent comments, it would seem as though he had zero involvement in the creation of the trailer soundtrack. Some might suggest that perhaps they hired somebody else for now during the pre-production stages of Elder Scrolls 6, and once full development kicks in, they'll bring back Jeremy. But as Jeremy pointed out in a response to a fan's comment, Jeremy has been brought in quite early in development in the past. When asked if it's maybe too early at this point for Bethesda to start working on Elder Scrolls 6's soundtrack, Jeremy replied with this, Skyrim took years to compose, and I was actually writing music to inspire the team, as that is what they told me in those days. I was working well ahead of the game's development, and they said they were using the music as inspiration. I was flattered, but felt some responsibility, so who knows? That's right, with past projects, Jeremy was brought in very early to inspire Bethesda Game Studios for the next Elder Scrolls project, well ahead of the game's development, as he put it. But now, it would seem as though he hasn't gotten so much as a phone call to reprise his role. I'd feel a little less uneasy if Bethesda hadn't already given us a glimpse of Elder Scrolls 6's soundtrack via that teaser trailer, but the fact that there is music for the game already and Jeremy isn't involved only leads me to believe that there is a possibility that Bethesda has found somebody else, that Jeremy has been replaced. One last comment I'd like to highlight is this one right here in which Jeremy explained why he decided to suddenly discuss this topic, having this to say, it is a new year, and I wanted to just clear the air for 2019 without having to keep saying no comment. I am constantly asked about the Elder Scrolls, so I just wanted to say what my status is and move on. I have many exciting projects planned for this year, and I hope folks are able to enjoy my new and forthcoming music. So even if he's not asked to return, he's got plenty of great projects ahead of him, which is great to hear and not at all surprising given his really impressive portfolio, but I also feel like Elder Scrolls is a very special part of his career, so deep down it surely must sting and feel a little devastating to find that he may have been replaced. Kind of like how David Hayter had plenty of amazing projects to look forward to after his long tenure with Metal Gear, but that didn't diminish the sting of being replaced as Snake so abruptly given what a special part of his life the iconic character was to him. As for why Jeremy might have been replaced, well, one potential theory is that it may have something to do with his outburst against Bethesda from back in 2016 when the company announced Skyrim in Concert, which, as the name implied, was an orchestral concert dedicated to Skyrim's music. However, one key individual didn't get the memo about this concert, the guy who created Skyrim's music, Jeremy Soule. In response to not being informed about his music being used to host a concert he wasn't told about, Jeremy had this to say, Concert? What concert? Anyone that knows me also knows that I care passionately about the integrity of my music. Skyrim took years for me to compose, and it was constructed very carefully. Today I'm seeing reports of a concert of Skyrim. This is the first I've heard of it. For the record, this concert has nothing to do with me, nor are they using any of my original scores. They had to transcribe whatever notation they're performing by ear from the recordings. This is a flawed process as transcriptions are always fraught with errors. To be sure, I don't know who these people are and I don't endorse a concert that is trading on my name and music that has absolutely no oversight or involvement on my part. For my fans, I just want you to know what you're getting if you pay to attend this concert. Be wary. Skyrim belongs to Bethesda. They can do whatever they wish with this IP. However, I have a right to tell those that do care about my work to say whether or not I'm involved. I never complain about covers of my music, but when they are charging fans for an experience that's implied to be authentic, the fans deserve to know what this is. Essentially, while Bethesda may have the legal right to host a Skyrim concert without consulting the original composer, as they own the copyright to all Skyrim material, Jeremy wasn't happy about the way Bethesda touted this paid concert to be an official, authentic experience when the music was derived from flawed transcriptions, and he generally felt it was in poor taste for the company to host a concert based on his own work without consulting the guy who created the music and who wants to see its integrity preserved. This is doubly true when Jeremy has been making music for Elder Scrolls for over a decade. It certainly doesn't make for a fruitful partnership to leave someone out of the loop of their own artistic work. So the question is whether this incident soured the relationship between Bethesda and Jeremy and resulted in Bethesda deciding to part ways with the renowned composer. Nothing is confirmed at this point, so keep in mind that this is all conjecture, 
but Jeremy's lack of involvement despite the small bit of Elder Scrolls 6 music that has been released and the general vibe of his Facebook posts do seem to make his potential replacement a likely prospect. The most likely candidate right now is none other than Inon Zur, best known for composing music for Bethesda's Fallout series. He did the music for Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76, and most recently he announced that he's doing the music for Elder Scrolls Blades. He's already starting to dip his toes into composing Elder Scrolls music, so who's to say that Inanzer won't be the one to helm music for Elder Scrolls 6? Also worth considering is that whereas the last time Jeremy Soul worked with Bethesda was all the way back in 2012 when he composed music for Skyrim's Dragonborn DLC, Inanzer is still working with Bethesda, having finished work on Fallout 76 and now moving on to Elder Scrolls Blades, all of which further suggests Inanzer may be intended to take a more prominent role in Bethesda Game Studios compositions while Jeremy Soule is being petered out. Now, I have nothing against Inanzer as he's a fantastic composer who I'm sure could produce some truly memorable music for the Elder Scrolls series, but it sucks to contemplate the possibility that Bethesda is quietly parting ways with the originator of Elder Scrolls music as we know it today. Jeremy Soul has brought so much to the series, and so much of Elder Scrolls' identity resides in the DNA of his music. It would just really suck if the worst came to pass, and it really did turn out he was ousted from the series, whether it's because of what he said back in 2016, or for some other unknown reason. I say if, because again, nothing has been officially confirmed, and it could turn out that Bethesda will ask him back down the line once Elder Scrolls VI development becomes a bigger focus, but at the same time, it's hard to ignore the ominous signs that lend credence to the notion that Jeremy Soule will not return for Elder Scrolls VI, and that Inon Zur could take over. Again, nothing against Inon Zur, I just think Jeremy Soule is, well, the soul of Elder Scrolls music, and it would suck to see him go. It's kind of like how I have nothing against Kiefer Sutherland, but it still sucked to hear about the way David Hayter was quietly replaced despite how much he's given to the series. I guess all I can do for now is cross my fingers that the rumors aren't true, that we'll hear new Elder Scrolls scores from Jeremy Soule once more, but we'll have to wait and see if that happens. In the meantime, I'd love to hear what you make of Jeremy Soule's recent Facebook posts in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.